Tom Harley is the CEO of the Swans. Great friend of the program. Thought we'd just touch base with uh, the planning ahead of Friday night for Buddy's potential thousandth, thousandth goal. And the good news that Logan McDonald's committed for another couple of years. Well, good morning and welcome for the first time this year, Tommy. Yeah, good day, Gaz. Tim, uh, thanks for having me on this morning. Ah, it's great to talk to you. It must be great excitement. Um, build up to Friday night, whether or not it happens will, is problematic, mm. but um, it's a bit of rain suggested on Friday as well, predicted. Is that going to impact on what you got planned? Uh, well, I have, I have seen the forecast. But so one, one of the new phrases coming into the, uh, the Bureau at the moment is the weather bomb. Um, I've heard that a couple of times, yeah. but um, look, I, I think Sydney's going to get a little bit. I think most of the rain, unfortunately, is going to, uh, to land up north in the flood-affected regions, which um, obviously we're all thinking about those up uh, around the Lismore part. But um, preparation for us is, uh, is, is a normal game. It's the first time game we've had with an unrestricted crowd um, after oh, the best part of two years. So we're, yeah. you know, we're really looking forward to it. And the, uh, the ticket sales have been extraordinarily strong, as you can imagine. So we're expecting a, a full house on Friday night. Hey, Tommy, uh, there's a report around that there's going to be a 20-minute break uh, if Buddy kicks the 1,000th goal. Is that what you're planning? Is that has is that been discussed? Yeah, look, it, it, I mean, it's difficult to put a, a fixed time on it, Tim, but um, the venue, so obviously in our case, venues New South Wales, which is the FCG and the AFL are really... Um, they're leading the, that project, and, and we've been told it's in and around. Um, you know, expect a 15 to 20 minute break um, if that's to occur. So, um, obviously, all of the security um, around Lance, if it happens, and the players, um, there's a whole heap of contingencies as to which part of the ground it might happen on, uh, making sure someone gets the ball, all of that sort of stuff. So, um, uh, it'll be, a, I mean, if it happens, it'll be just a fantastic celebration, clearly. And uh, the Logan McDonald two-year deal, uh, you must be very happy that you've been able to tie him up at least for another two years? Yeah, look, Logan, uh, you know, he was uh, uh, clearly a, um, a top-end draft pick for us and developing nicely as a key forward. And, uh, you know, we agreed to terms a couple of weeks ago and um, look, Logan's really excited about developing with the group that we've got coming through. We've got, you know, good and big plans for Logan. So I'm um, really, really excited that he's uh, sees faith in the, in the Swans and is committed for another couple of years. Has the club got something special? Just getting back to Buddy for one second. Has the club got something special planned in terms of some sort of a gift or presentation to Buddy when he does achieve the 1,000th goal? I know you've paid him reasonably oh, well not. over the years, but have you got a little something <laughs> up your sleeve for him? Not, 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 not in a public sense, um, Tim. We... Uh, uh, to be fair, in conversations with Lance, he and those of us who know Lance well, um, he's not one for the the, the the public adoration and the like. So um, uh, no, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing, nothing extraordinary, if you like, in a public sense. Leave that with us, Thomas. Yep. Uh, we will put a call out to our great audience, um, and SEN Breakfast will get a present for Buddy, and we'll get that after they, we get suggestions, and then we'll send it up there. He would greatly appreciate it. Mean, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm sure, sure he would. He'd love yeah, he would. I know he would. Be out. over the moon. Hey, um, are you clear? Do you think your club is clear? Do you think uh, Johnny Longmire is clear? Do you think your senior playing list is clear about what they need to do if there's a ball in dispute and someone gets there earlier or in a marking contest, can they jump for it or not? I mean, did you? what did you make of yeah. last night? Yeah, I thought it was interesting last night. I mean, I, I guess with everything and, and when – um, whether it's free kicks or tribunal decisions, you just really want consistency. And I, I must admit, I was a bit surprised um, uh, with the overturn of, of the Willie Rioli one. So as long as there's consistency there, it was, a really, it was an extraordinary passage of play, that one. Um, uh, watching that one on, on the couch, the, the West Coast went down, had a shot on goal afterwards, and Willie was involved in that. So, um, <clears throat> look, I'm sure there's discussion. I haven't been involved in any specific discussions with the footy program this week, but... Um, uh, what is clear, regardless of whether it's a free kick option or a um, tribunal ruling, is the head is sacrosanct. And so, from a preparation point of view, I think all the players need to go in with that mindset. It is a little con- well. It's a little concerning though to hear after one game of footy, a you know, highly regarded CEO of a club say that you're surprised and a little confused. Have we got something to worry mm-hmm. about? Uh, well, as I said, I mean, it's, it's, it comes to, for me anyway, um, as an observer, it comes down to consistency of, of, of that. And um, to be honest, Gary, I, I, haven't, I haven't spent a lot of time um, outside of the headline to see that it was overturned. So um, I guess to form a full opinion, I'd need to understand all of the deliberations and the case from West Coast, etc. cetera. But, um, but it's, it, it, I think any footy fan would um, uh, who consumes the media would see that there's clearly a bit of a contentious one. So... 
um, yeah, the consistency is clearly the key for uh, the key for the players. Good of you to join us on pretty short notice. So good luck this weekend. It's going to happen the thousand when it is. It's going to be a great occasion. I'm sure you got it all in hand, and appreciate you giving us some time this morning, Tommy. No worries, Tim. Morning, Tom. Tom Harley, Swan CEO.